everybody, it's Alexa and welcome back to my channel. Since it is the end of January, it means it's time for another favorites video. I did one for every month last year and you guys all seem to like it so I figured I would continue doing them again this year. If you missed any of my ones from last year, I will have a link to the playlist listed down below. This month, my favorites were pretty random so I'm not going to go in any order. So let's get started. The first two products I'm going to be showing you are both shower related. The first one is just the EOS Lavender Jasmine Shaving Cream. I absolutely love this. It smells amazing and you can also dry shave with this. If you'd like to learn how to dry shave, I will have a video linked down below. You guys may remember that I featured the pink one last year. However, I like this one so much better. And the second shower related product I have been loving this month is the Sweet Pea Shower Gel from Bath & Body Works. As always, I am super bad at describing scents, so I'm just going to read you guys the key notes. So for Sweet Pea, the key notes are Sweet Pea, Watery Pear, Sheer Freesia, Juicy Raspberry, and Soft Musk. If you guys saw my What I Got for Christmas haul, then you will have already seen this. If you haven't, I will have it linked down below. I absolutely love this. It is definitely my favorite scent from Bath & Body Works. And if you guys have a favorite scent from Bath & Body Works, be sure to let me know what it is down below. I also have two art related favorites. If you guys didn't already know, art is a big passion of mine and I'm trying to incorporate it more on my channel. If you guys have any specific art related videos you would like to see, make sure to let me know what they are in the comments down below. But as for my two art related favorites, the first one is just a sketchbook and this is just the Canton XL Mixed Media Sketchbook. I prefer to use a mixed media sketchbook or a marker sketchbook because I do use markers the most. If you guys would like me to do a sketchbook tour, make sure to let me know down below. As of right now, I'm just going to give you a sneak peek and show you one of my favorite pieces I've done, which is just a hand in water. Also, if you guys would like to see an entire video on my favorite art supplies to use, make sure to let me know down below. And then my second art supply favorite is Copic markers. If you guys would like to learn more about Copic markers, make sure to let me know down below because I can definitely do a Copics 101 video. Also, if you guys would like to know what my top five favorite markers to illustrate with are, I will have a video linked down below. If you guys don't know, Copic markers are just a really high quality marker. This one here is just the colorless blender. But like I said when I was talking about the sketchbook, most of my artwork is done in markers. So for me, buying Copic markers is totally worth it. A pretty random favorite of mine this month has definitely been flash tattoos. And the ones I've been using are from Fashionista Tattoos. I'll have a link to these listed down below. And what's really exciting is that I will be giving a pack of these flash tattoos away in my 50,000 subscribers giveaway. So once I hit 50,000 subscribers, be on the lookout for that. But these are just flash tattoos. And as you guys can see, I have one on my index finger. And to put these on, all you do is cut the design that you want out, place it face down on your hand or your finger or anywhere, and then dab it with a wet washcloth. After a couple seconds, you can carefully peel off the paper backing, and then you will have your flash tattoo. I absolutely love these and think they are a fun way to accessorize. And then the most random favorite that I've probably ever shown in a favorites video is a set of light bulbs. The reason these are my favorite is because they are different from most light bulbs. These are daylight light bulbs and are basically equivalent to studio lighting. So if you guys are looking for a cheap alternative to studio lighting, definitely go out and buy yourself some of these. A pack of four was around $5. And the one thing you will notice is that the light bulbs are definitely bigger than a normal sized light bulb. This is what a normal size light bulb looks like and this is what a daylight light bulb looks like and with the daylight light bulbs my room is just so much brighter and if my studio lights ever break again I can just use these. Another random favorite of mine this month were cough drops. These are just the Halls Breezers cough drops and they are in the creamy strawberry flavor. These have definitely come in handy when I've had a sore throat and another food related item that I have been loving this month are the Haribo mini gummy bears. These are just the Christmas packaging ones. My favorite candy is definitely gummy bears. I absolutely love them. I found these at Target and since I did go back to school and it is a new year I got a new planner. I actually got this for Christmas. This is just an Erin Condren planner This is just what the horizontal layout looks like and I like it so much better than the vertical layout I also have a $10 off coupon code for you guys that you can use on your first purchase I've also gotten a ton of planner stickers recently So if you guys would like to see a planner sticker haul or a plan with me video Make sure to let me know down below and then my last favorite for this month is another really random one and it is a picture frame. This is just the Thistle and Poppy's Snap Point picture frame and I will have this linked down below and so basically you get to pick your base and frame color and what's really cool is how easily interchangeable it is. All you have to do is lift this up and the picture comes right out and then you can replace the picture with a different one and just 
snap it back on and it's that easy. So I have been loving this this month and I plan on printing off a ton of pictures from this year to swap out. So those are all of my January 2016 favorites. I will have all the videos that I mentioned in this video linked down below. Also make sure to let me know if you would like to see any of the videos that I mentioned. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already to be notified every Tuesday and Saturday when I upload new videos. Also be sure to go over and follow me on Instagram to see what I do off camera. I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!